Alright bros, now you see I've been working on the back and I've got your uh, bumper and hitch and all that done. I've still got to do a little bit of floor work. But my, mo my goal is to get this uh, body off of this frame so I can start getting some frame work done. I uh, get help in to do that and I can get this body on the rotisserie. I can get the bumper sent out to the chrome shop and all that. And to, to finish up the, all the chrome in the back, it's ready to go to the, to the uh, chrome shop. But I've got to fit and mount and locate the front bumper and do all that. Um, your front fenders have been, you know, been uh, wrecked and bent and the bottoms of them are rusted out and there's rust down the center line where there was a panel inside there and I guess leaves or debris uh, stayed in there and rusted it out. Uh, we had discussed, you, you think you might can find a good set of fenders, so if you can, that would be outstanding because it's going to help me locate the front of the lower rocker uh, panels exactly where they need to be. Right now I don't have any of that because the fenders are so uh, manipulated from damage and rust that they, they, they're just kind of flopping down. And if we had a good fender, it would be uh, a lot less work because I'm going to have to make a lot of these two fenders. So I'm going to pull off of that and let you hunt for those fenders and then I'm going to get in here and uh, finish up this dash. Uh, I've been doing a bunch of work on it. I worked on it a bunch yesterday. Uh, there's a lot going on in here. You saw where I was making your wiper system. Well now I've got your wiper system installed with your opposing system on your original Explorer motor that will plug right in that's going to operate off of your steering column and it's going to have delay. Not sure if I can hide the squirter in there but if I can that'll just be a bonus. I'll put that in there and all that'll work just like the Explorer. Now this, this, uh, this is pressed on there and it's got some, uh, some teeth in there to where it uh, locks in. I've got it loose enough to where I kind of show you how this is going to work. So uh, let me get my arm around here. So this is what I've got right now. So this is just going to rotate around and it rotates about four inches and, uh, and that stands out about two and three quarter and that's exactly where it was on the uh, Explore. So I'm hoping that speed's going to be pretty good and uh, work out good. I hope I don't have to change the length of those arms to change the length of that speed because uh, that's working out really nice. Um, so once I kind of decided what I wanted to do right here, then I had to come back. Uh, I know I keep saying this stuff's so tied together, but everything in this dash is tied together and has a purpose. So to, to locate all this, then I have to start designing a structure to hold this column out so far. Uh, there's a lot of uh, length out here and there's a lot of weight when you pull it in and out and move around the seat, you pull on this a lot. So I have to build a frame underneath your dash to support that. Originally it came out of the floor and it had a little bracket on the bottom of this dash. All of it was brand new back in the day. This All this stuff's been rusted and moved and soft and there just ain't no way that's going to hold this. So I've done it all with, uh, with one inch square tubing, uh, thick wall tubing and uh, and some angle I had and I built you an extremely nice uh, cage in here. So underneath this here I've got, uh, I've got a bar all the way over and down the other side. Then I've got it tied from inside to here going through my wiper system. Had to make this wiper system uh, removable and serviceable. And so that bar and, and, and clear my air conditioner. So I've got that one over as far as I could get it and as close as I could get it to this uh, wiper system and then give me a little bit of triangulation. Uh, the more I can triangulation I can get in it, the stronger this thing is going to be. So then I, I, I did another one right beside it, the same way, put some, some kickers off the bottom of that, and it's got the center of that extremely strong. But I need it super strong because of how far, you can see how far out your steering wheel is. I'm going to add some more on this side. So uh, I've run one up to the, the bar I mounted your wiper on, and then I've got another one in here. And then I'm going to run another one down here and then eventually get this uh, steering column pretty stout. But it's a lot going on to try to build the cage that's going to support this weight out this far from that dash. So, uh, so now I'm, I'm, uh, I've been rolling along pretty good, had not had time to video all this. But I just want to give you a quick update on where I'm at. And then I'm fixing to put uh, some more supports in over here. And then this will be ready to go. Then I'll start fitting the dash in. And I may, uh, I may make the dash one piece with the car. It's removable now, but the modification I'm going to have to do to it, uh, I may have to make it one piece. But uh, so far, so good on the dash. And then the, uh, the parking brake, that's looking nice. You had a pedal over here on the Explorer. This is the original Woody style that you bought online. And I'm believing I can put it right down through here, which is going to clear that inner panel in the fender. And then hopefully this will work. Uh, like it should. So uh, it's all a bunch of cut and shove to fit right here. But uh, this is what I like, the cut and shove to fit stuff. I can roll through pretty good. 
uh, this original Woody stuff, I, I end up with more time trying to find these original numbers. Uh, it, it's a lot more complex. So uh, I've got clearance out for your uh, defrost, air conditioner, everything that's going to go on this under this stash I've had under here 10, 12 times. Put it in, taking measurements, weld something in, you know, in, out, in, and out. But so far, so good. Everything's going in and, uh, and going along real good. All right, here's a closer look at, at, at under your dash. You can see your uh, your motor there and all your wiper system there and the supports I've got in there. And I'll clean all this up once I get it all roughed in and um, and weld and clean and, and paint it up. And you can see how far out that hangs. And I'm going to put another bar up through there. Uh, but that's working out working out nice. And then I want to show you uh, I want to show you what your dash looks like. Here's your dash. And you can kind of see even on the dash what I'm working with. Even your dash is, is just super thin. And these dashes are very rare, hard to come by, but everywhere is thin pinholes and, uh, and rusted out. And that's what I've been fighting the whole time. It'd be sweet if that dash was in good shape and it'd just be epoxy priming paint, but, but it's not gonna be that. So let's, let's get back to work.